Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I just got home a couple minutes ago and I had some packages of books waiting for me. And so I just opened them up and I thought that I would do a, a book haul video. I haven't done one of these in a while. I have been doing really good with limiting the amount of money that I'm trying to spend on books. I'm trying to buy less books. I'm trying to use my library more, use my access to free library copies through the Libby app and that sort of thing more than just immediately going to buy a book when it interests me. However, um, these are, these are the exceptions. I did end up buying a couple, um, not as many as I would have bought by now. Uh, so I feel very proud about that. Uh, but I was really excited about these. And so I thought I would show them to you here today. Um, so the first is called Lennon's Tomb. And this is by David Rimnick. I'm really excited about this. This came out in 1994. Uh, it won the Pulitzer Prize um, about the, the last days, sort of the fall of the Soviet Union. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. I haven't read anything by this author before. Um, I've read a lot of um, really amazing reviews about this book, a really a lot of great praise for it, and so I have very high expectations going into it, and I'm fairly certain it is going to fulfill those for me. Um, the next is uh, called Young Stalin, and this is by Simon Montefiore. Um, I'm really excited about this one as well. I have read um, the first chapter of this or so on a, a free Kindle sample, um, but I'm excited to be able to read the full book. Another um, Simon Montefiore, this is the Romanovs, um, his completed work uh, from 1613 to 1918, the entire, uh, the entirety of the Romanov dynasty. And this is a, a big book here, um, beautiful cover, beautiful um, edition. I absolutely love it. Um, I've actually started this. I picked this up, um, I think maybe even a year and a half or to two years ago. And I read about halfway through it. And at that particular time, I wasn't super interested in the Romanov family. I wasn't that interested in Imperial, in Imperial Russia. It was something that I was, I was trying something new just to see if I liked it. And I ended up putting it down. Um, and now I um, am much more interested in the, in the content. Um, very excited to read it. And um, I absolutely... Uh, love the cover of this. I think it's beautiful. Uh, the next one is a book that I picked up for Jane Austen July. Um, I've read a lot of Jane Austen's novels, not all of them. I still have two more to go. I still need to read Emma and Pride and Prejudice to have read all of her novels. Uh, but I wanted some biographical work on her life. I really didn't know anything about her personally other than just a couple little tidbits that I have heard either on different booktube videos or read um, in different articles online. But I wanted a really um, concise uh, picture of her of her personal life. And so I picked this up. This is Jane Austen Life by Claire Tomlin. Um, again, it's a, it's a fantastic cover. I really love it. Um, and um, this is just a, a very, a very concise, very brief biography um, of Jane Austen. And so I'm really excited to read this this month for Jane Austen July. I'm um, hoping to get a lot of really good insights into Jane Austen, um, into the time she lived in, sort of her, her, her personal life, how she navigated life herself, um, and hopefully be able to learn a little bit more about her characters and her novels and her fiction through learning about her personal life. Um, and then last but not least is Bride's Head Revisited by Evelyn Hugh. I am so excited about this. I have been wanting to read this book for a really long time. And then just the other day, I saw a video review for it over on uh, Matthew's channel at the Mayberry Book Club, and it really inspired me to pick up my own copy. Um, and I absolutely love this edition too. This is a, a Penguin Classics 1945 edition. It is absolutely fantastic. I love it so much. Um, I didn't realize that I was that I was able to get the the 45 copy when I ordered it online. I was assuming a, a more modern um, trade paperback edition, so I was super excited when I saw um, what I got here. It's absolutely beautiful. So that is the last of the book haul. Super short video, um, really short, uh, but I just wanted to show these. I was super excited about them, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to leave a comment, please feel free to do so, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.